In this video, we're going to learn how to manage, edit, delete, and refund subscription payments. We're logged into Invanto and I'm going to go access Cotrack. From this screen I don't have to enter a course or a course bundle. I can actually handle editing and managing my subscriptions through this top menu. I'm going to first go into orders and look at all of my orders. And that's going to show me all the orders for all of the courses that I have in my course library. Even the course bundles. This particular one at the very top is the one that I put in in a different video, in a different training video. And I'm going to pretend like this person called me and they said that they wanted a refund on their purchase. If we look at that pop line, we can see the course name was the Mastery Course Bundle. The plan name was the Course Bundle Plan Without Certificate. Of course, this was her email. Her orders totaled $59.95. She's had no refund so far. It's created a revenue of $59.95. She's been billed one time, and this was the order date, and she has access until this date. Her status is green, so it's active. And we have several options we can do here. So if we want to delete this subscription, not refund, but delete, we could check the delete subscription. If we wanted to edit the subscription, we could click edit. If we want to find out more about her subscription, find out the subscription details, we can click this information button. So let's go ahead and click the information button. And now we can see more information about her subscription. We've got her name, we've got the information on the course that she purchased, the total that she paid, and how many payments we received. And the payment history, here's her payment including the receipt number we entered, and the date, how much was billed, and if she was refunded. She was billed, but she's not been refunded. So we can choose to edit that payment right here. We can change any information on here that we need to. We can choose to delete this payment if it, like it never happened, or we can choose to refund this payment. So let's go ahead and check refund. It says, are you sure you want to refund this transaction? The action is irreversible. I'm going to choose yes. This particular subscription has been refunded. If we go back into orders and we look at this line, you'll see that her orders were $59.95, but her refunds were $59.95, and it changed the revenue to $0. That will tell you that she was refunded. Also, it changes the status. She had her payment refunded, so it changed her status to inactive, so she can no longer access the course. That's how you add, edit, delete, and refund a subscription in your course.